guys. Today I'm going to show you how I string up a mortar rack so that we can choreograph fireworks to music. Now the goal here is to synchronize this to the chorus of my grand finale song. The chorus is about 20 seconds long. Um, I'm not going to discuss what that song is, but we'll pretend it's Rollin' by Limp Biscuit because that has a 20 second chorus. Anyway, so I don't have any idea how long this is going to last. I'm hoping from first boom to the last boom, it's exactly 20 seconds. Uh, I have pre-cut my perfect fuse. I use the perfect fuse to set a delay after each five mortar. So we'll have a five quick and then a slight pause when it hits here. And then these next five will go quick and so on. Um, and now after we shoot this video and we know exactly how long it lasts, if it's more or less than 20 seconds, I know how much adjustments I'll need to make on this perfect fuse. So we have three and a half inches right now. If it's not exactly 20 seconds long, I'm going to have to next time use a different length of perfect fuse. I need my cutters. Okay. Now for cutting fuses, they say not to use scissors because the metal on metal can create a spark which would light the fuse. So I use these wire cutters work good. Now, let me get one of my my perfect fuse out. And I take a I like to use masking tape. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use uh, zip ties and it works perfectly fine. I'm just stuck in my ways. So I I just use masking tape because it, it's been successful for me in the past. Now with connecting these fuses, it's important to make sure that the fuses are touching and not to let this tape get in between them because this tape will not catch on fire. And if the tape gets stuck in between them, the flame will pass right through there and not light the other fuse. And then you just roll it around there nice and tight. And that fuse is connected. Now we've got more perfect fuse. We will string to this. Connect about an inch. This is pretty good from what I've noticed in the past. And just make sure they're butted up real good against each other. And then get the tape wrapped around them and make it tight. Okay, and now I will start connecting this next row of mortars. It's ideal to make sure that the two or the uh, fuses from these mortars are facing in the direction the flame's going to come at them. So. In this case, the flame is going to come from this way, so I want the uh, the wicks to be facing this way too. Facing at it, and then I connect them. Give it a nice little squeeze, and then on to the next one. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure the fuses are touching. Okay, on to the next one. And then once we get to the end of this row, I will cut, cut the quick fuse and run another three and a half inch string of perfect fuse to it. 
and repeat the process until this uh, until this rack is fully fused. Get another one of these. Cutters. Right there. All right. And then uh, give it a little bit of slack, cut it right there. These cutters kind of suck. And then I run another perfect fuse. I'm going to connect the perfect fuse about. About one inch is good. But yeah, the secret is all in the perfect fuse. As far as timing this, uh, this will last as long as you make it. And it's all about how much perfect fuse you use. So this is a, a learning experience for me. I'm gonna figure out now, for those that uh, aren't very knowledgeable about the different types of the fuses, uh, for those watching, can you say which one is faster? This white fuse is quick fuse. This pink fuse is still kind of quick, but it's a lot slower. Quick fuse burns at roughly a half second per foot. Very good, very good. Maybe even faster. Nice. And then this per this pink fuse, it burns roughly a second per inch, give or take. Probably a little faster than that, but I've noticed that it's pretty much one inch per second on the pink. Perfect fuse. These are my two favorite fuses to use. Perfect and quick. All right, and so now I just start connecting these, this next row and so on. You guys get the whole point though. We don't need to record the entire thing, but uh, we're about done here wrap, fusing this up and it's gonna get dark here within the hour. Once we're done wrap, uh, fusing this up, we're gonna take this rack outside and we're gonna light it and uh, we will record that too. Mm -hmm. So until then, nope.